Hey guys, it's Kid Fear here. It's the Lock to Nan's house, episode 24. Me and my granddad are just down here trying to get an old tumble dryer in that corner because my aunt wants it to sink. We're told to get it out and do a test on it. So, yeah, we have to move this garage around a little bit to find it. Hopefully, we can sort out the garage a little bit because it is a bit of a it is a bit of a shit hole in there. Here's the process my granddad said I maybe had to sort the garage out for him to organise it for him because this is an absolute mess. We got all the stuff out. We're trying to get that machine there. We've got to get this wardrobe out of the way next. All this searching, me and my granddad found the washing machine with the tumble dryer and guess what happens? What don't it do, granddad? It doesn't fucking work. We're trying to um, do circuit. Do you remember how, how did you turn it on? <laughs> so you shut the, you put your stuff in there, you shut the door, hmm. and then what did you do? You just switched it around to here. To and first it go. So like half an hour or something. Right, so you put it there. I reckon it's actually with the um the um V circuit, because that's what it was in that washing machine. The um, safety circuit, innit? No. The socket's wiped. Yeah, Fucking all the time we've had it here. It don't even work, does it? But it's working. That's the <laughs> thing. If it wasn't working, we'd have thrown it away. Careful, Granddad, turn it off when you do that. Turn it off because it's still got power going through it. There you go. We tried a new fuse in it, guys, and it isn't. Oh my god. Is it meant to have something there? Huh? Is it meant to have something there? Yeah, thing over there. Thing. Where's that pipe then? Did you put another fuse in? Yeah, I've tried a new plug fuse in it. We got the plug up this end as well. And we got that one. Put the mouse put in there. My granddad's trying to have a look inside it to see what we can see because there was mice in this garage and he's wondering if a mouse has got inside it and chewed up wires or something. Probably a ma mouse nest in here. Oh, can you imagine if there was? <laughs> You'd fucking run, wouldn't you? Oh, well. I mean, fucking mouse for Christ's sake. Oh, there's wires in there. Right, get, get the old torch. Uh, I'm just trying to have a look, see what's wrong with it. Be careful, Grandad. We used the multimeter, me and my granddad have diagnosed it, found out the micro switch wasn't working, it wasn't engaging continuity when the door was shut. So we have a way of trying of a way of doing that, but we're probably gonna put a if if we get it repaired and then want it, we're gonna put we're gonna mount a push button into it most likely. Or if not throw it. Go on then, you want to try it. Go on. I'm, I'm fine, I'm not. Right, it's on. You're well smart, then. So it's the safety circuit that was broken. <laughs> Uh, 
that means, hold on, turn it on a minute. That's the only thing though, look. But it's only a tub of dryer, isn't it? No idea, it's just... Uh, it's got to get off in the mains, isn't it, like that? Uh, yeah, you can turn it on again. Oh, sure. Take it back to zero, and then it goes out. Well, it does anyway. So, it, it, say, it's, say you're drying the washing. Right, so it go on for about 20 minutes. Yeah, then, when it gets to that, that, that dog, turns itself off anyway, doesn't it? Right. Wait, what? Was it meant to do that? Because it was the sound it was making. Was it meant to do that? Yeah, I suppose it. I don't know. It can't. I've never seen it like this before. So, what, what, what are you putting on now? What? I'll put it on 20. All that's doing, Grandad, is that's bypassing the switch. Yeah. Bypassing the safety switch. Yeah. Hey, does it get hot though? It's just a tumble dryer, isn't it? What's the hottest setting on there? Cotton dry? Is that hot? I don't know. All the way around. Okay, so my grandma's just doing so. We're going down to a electrical place that we found to try and get a new micro switch. Hopefully, we can buy the part as a whole. If not, this little device here. Just in here, because what it's doing, the door was closing, but it wasn't engaging the switch. Obviously, it's got worn out over time, and it wasn't engaging, so we need to do it. The, the door still engages closed. Unlike on other machines where the door, the minute you move the micro switch, the door doesn't even shut properly, it just opens. So all we got to do is get a switch. I'm just hoping that this place will actually support us for what we want to do and not just moan at us saying I'll bring it down for a pair. Hopefully we get a person who's actually willing to help us just to find this crank. So all we got to do is wire it in, use some solder and terminal blocks or something. So yeah, just got to use some... 13 amp cable that we've got loads of that and yeah hopefully we can find this component as a whole isn't it granddad sorry hopefully we can find this component as a whole or if not we're looking for a new one of them to try and put in there see that a new micro switch oh. we're looking for a new one of them okay so now we'll just take a quick look at the water um, thing just having a quick look at the water thing and to have it careful, Grenna, because water and electric don't mix. Yeah. That's some home See soft that? thing that absolutely smells horrible. It's a water softener. It's what? an electrical thing, it plugs into a socket. But Did the you put that there, water softener? No, I didn't install it. Water softener, what? Water softener, what? Is that say? Water softer area, area about it. Where the fuck is the boxes thing then? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to use my hands. Then the backup machine is going to be quite awkward. But I'm going to have to get the screws in because we've got the new component. Got to get it in there, then I've got to wire it up. So yeah, let's get to that now. Got like found a hack for the. Hey, my tools are out here. Yeah, Well done for that, Bob. What? You ain't said hello to the camera for ages. Go on. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> Look, he's thought of this to engage the switch. That means you short sighted us. Right now we got to wire up the the switch itself because we haven't right, actually done that. Right, long enough. You saw what I've done. Yeah, yeah. Pull another one for a bit longer. Right, okay. Well, it did click when you pressed it in, so it should. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be yeah. connected to the door, isn't it? Yeah. That's connected to the. Right, I'm going to say goodbye. Yeah. Long ago. All right, mate. All right, see you, Bob. Thanks. Right, Grandad.
let's wire it up and try it. That's the only thing I think, if not we'll extend it again. We do a little raw plug, didn't make connection to it, but my granddad's trying to to do it as best he can to get a longer raw plug in there so it can engage at night that, that switch. We've wired the new switch in now. The new switch has been wired in and that works because I've stuck a screwdriver to see if it works. But we just gotta do this. It's pissing down a rain. <laughs> And the sun's out. We've done it. Yeah. Let's get the camera off the Don't touch it, it's live. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. This thing works. Granted, demonstrate how that little switch works. The little switch in there. Demonstrate what it does. I'm filming it, go on. Right. We're just getting a little switch. Which is here. Right. I thought it was that one, didn't it? Yeah, I thought it would be that as well. And that pushes in. And that engages the, the micro switch and the machine begins to work. That's it, and we need to undo it. It stops. It's, it stops it, that's it. So we wanted. Now we've just got to get these zip ties there and really close the door. I've seen. Engages it. It's this that's trouble. It's just that little spring. Emergency stop. It stops harder when you do that. You can see in there how it works. You have the switch here. Oh. Okay, so we found a fault with it, again. We just put it back together and that's making this horrible sound. There's something in there. Give the door a compress again. The vibration's there by the sounds of it, so there's something stuck down there. Okay, so I'm currently home alone at the moment and I'm gonna tidy up this garage for my granddad. He really needs to tidy it up. The machine is working. We have some clothes in there. Well, not they're not wet clothes. They're just just to give the machine a little spin round. I'm gonna unbug it soon, but I'm gonna tidy up. This is going to the front. This is going to my aunt. I've got all these holes. He needs some organisation in there. So let's just pull everything out and start again, basically. Well, we still have a lot to do. I have that stuff. It was on there, and I've put it here. And I've also made my granddad a little float shelf. There's another one there, probably going to put it here for him, so he can mount a few things up the air. So yeah, just got to get around to that. Okay, so I've got the clock back up in the same place where it was. There's a plant growing there, going to get rid of that. And I'm going to put another one of these things, see if they go on this wall over here. So he can store more things, but that is a really good idea for him. That ain't a bad idea, considering they're not being used, and now we can utilise them. The wood in the process picking it up and putting it on there so soon it'll be up there out of the way and that machine put that up there as well okay so i've got the clock back up in the same place where it was there's a plant growing there gonna get rid of that and i'm gonna put another one of these things see if they go on this wall over here so he can store more things but that is a really good idea for him that ain't a bad idea considering they're not being used and now we can utilize them the wood in the process picking it up and putting it on there so in it, it'll be up there out of the way, and that machine put that up there as well. Okay, so here's our process got another shelf up for his storage purposes, sorting it out, still things to do. Well, for what I'm doing for him, I'm gonna mount him a little light, just not not a light as in as in connected onto this circuit over here, but a light that's over there so he can, or it may be on the circuit, it depends how easy it is to do. I'll put it up on this circuit into that light for him and it'll be there so he has a little light on his wall so he can see sort of lights up his desk over here let's just see what's easier because I could come down onto a 13 amp plug top but yeah I think I'm going to go the easy way we have a we have some mercury lighting systems that can go on we have some different lamps and that I can use but it's daylight so I think I'll be fine
let's just get the wiring up for this, get drilled into it, see if it goes together. Okay, so the lights are isolated. I'm going to get that little light connected up to this circuit because it'll be easier than coming down. So I've been connected up to this light and so I've turned the fuse bar up and I've just got to unplug it. Well, not unplug it, just take the fuse out. I tend to turn the fuse bar off and take the fuse out just, you know, safety's sake. I've got my little light in there so I'll be absolutely fine. I don't think much has happened. Uh, throwing the, most of them away because the rats chewed them. Okay, so the granddad's there. You alright? Yeah. What do you think about the work? What I've been yeah. doing to it? Nice and clean now. Yeah, I've put new lights on it as well, guys. I've got this one at the back. And this is optional. We're going to convert it to LED tomorrow. However, just when he wants a bit of a bit more light, then it's there for him. And yeah, we've got socket, socket. All was originally there. This PMS socket, you can actually use it now, which before you couldn't. I'm going to organise some of his little tools that he may want in there. So yeah, just going to organise up for him. I really am helping my granddad out here, guys. I'm, get, I'm making him get out all his saws, whatever he uses, and we're mounting them on the wall around the garage. So he's, we're mounting them. This is a bit of a silly one because plug socket is not the most best idea we could do. So we're making up his hammers, his axes, his saws, all round his work table so he has access to them. Obviously don't worry, we're not going to drill into the wires, we know where they are. I know regulations say no crooked wires and all that, but at the same time it's safe. My granddad's got common sense, haven't you granddad? Yeah. You're not going to drill into a live bit of wire, are you granddad? No. So he isn't going to do anything like that? It. See? Be safe granddad, isn't it? That's it. Be safe. Be safe, not sorry. Yep. We're using a big, massive electric drill now. This will make it a bit more easier for us. We do one here. And there. No one? Yeah, don't go all the way up to the fucking thing. Right, there. That's it. Yeah, right, let's get the rod plugs on. My granddad's really enjoying his new tool workshop. We've got to take this to LED tomorrow. That'll be done tomorrow. But we he's mounting his vice up now, one of his critical tools. And yeah, we're just mounting it all for him. You're enjoying it, aren't you? Your tools, aren't you? Yeah, lovely. You like it, don't you? In your room now. Yeah, it's all common sense for him. It's here. It's all there. So Grenad, how do you feel about your garage? Your garage first, yeah, Good. Got plugs. I'll see there's an extension there, got a 50 in the boot for her. And yeah, we've got his drill it's mounted. Lit oh I had that. Yeah yeah. And put it back on the shelf. Remember Grandad, organization's key. Tomorrow I'm gonna do something else to it as well. I've got a couple of other plans I can do to help you organise yourself.